Welcome back to the protest board. I'm your boy Tony. I'm back on the video. If I get AGT Geo go to God for God's right now, God's of endorse and pay one for, pay one for all you wonderful people in your name. Pray, man. Today's video, shout out to Wash, Washington on a daily mango sub of my guys. So go follow my guys. If you just want a daily, you can go subscribe to my guys. Ball and Burgundy podcast on YouTube. Let's get to today's video. Shout out to my man, uh, Pedro Smith on some information for today and also WC on the daily again with these uh with these screenshots. Wanna shout out to those two before I get to today's video. So, we might have a new offensive coordinator after Scott Turner got fired. Is it Eric Bienemy? Uh current offensive coordinator for the Chiefs. Uh there's some rumors that Eric could be the guy here that will be running our offense next year. And he's currently not really calling the plays in Kansas City. So it might be something that he might be interested in. Uh, we have a young quarterback in Sam Howell who's very interesting. He's not Patrick Mahomes, of course, but he's a guy with a huge arm, a good set of mobility, and a good skill set for the NFL, even though he is very, very slight in height. Uh, but, yeah, this is from Benjamin Albright. Shout out to Pedro Smith. Shout out to my bro for this uh, screenshot here from his video. I'm not going to lie, be honest. And uh, the first tweet says, any commander's candidates, Ben? And Ben Albright comments on this one says, I heard about the enemy after this season. We shall see. So, I hope it's Eric Bien-Aimé. Uh I really like enemy a lot. He should be head coach in the league by now if I want to be 1,000% honest with you. But, hey, if he comes here and, uh, you know, upgrades his stature a bit by calling plays and being the guy that, you know, gets his offense on track, I think that will be kind of the clinching thing that will give him a head coaching job somewhere. And also with Ron might be on his last legs here because of ownership changing and with new ownership coming in, he could have a backdoor front seat to a head coaching job in Washington if Ron Rivera does not work out. So it's very advantageous for Eric Bieniemy, but also there's some cons to this. Uh, he will not be having Patrick Mahomes as quarterback anymore. It'll be Sam Howell now. And also, the offensive line has a lot to be desired in Washington right now. With guys like Andrew Noah being slow as a snail, Trey Turner being trash, Chase Willie not being able to stay healthy, Sam Coggin taking a step back after his amazing rookie campaign, and also Charles Leno being a turnstile. <laughs> so, there's a lot of cons here for uh, Eric Bieniemy, but the, but the pros, I think, outweigh the cons. You got receivers like Terry McLaurin, Curry Samuel, also Jahan Dotson, a little sprinkle of De'Ami Brown as well. And you got the running backs of uh, Antonio Gibson and Brian Robinson. So should be very interesting. We have another candidate here. This is from Nikki Javala, and she tweeted this earlier today. The commanders may have more outside options for offensive coordinator, but quarterbacks coach Ken Zampezi is a candidate for, for the job per source. Washington fired Scott Turner on Tuesday and have only one other coach with play calling experience and a current staff, senior office assistant Jim Hostler. Ken Zampezi's interesting. Um, he has chemistry with Sam House, and he is the quarterback coach right now, and he's seen Sam grow and learn, which is something that's interesting. But I want a different. Uh, voice outside this organization. I don't want to kind of do status quo because status quo wasn't good enough. That's why Scott Turner definitely got fired in the first place. So I'm disagreeing with this one. I don't want Ken Zampezi here as the offensive coordinator. He can say the quarterback's coach and continue to groom Sam and Nat Banner. <laughs> but he, uh, him being a candidate, I don't have a problem with that. But as long as he's not hired as the offensive coordinator, I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, you should always have an in-house candidate anyway. If he does, if he's not an in-house candidate for a promotion, he shouldn't be having this job. So, I don't mind this one being a candidate, but as an actual offensive coordinator, hell no. But that's gonna do it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and do that thing in the comment section down below. Stay blessed, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.